Okay, and here we have School Bunny. Um, this is a drawing, again, I've done based on some of the illustrations that you find online of him, sort of natural pose for School Bunny. Um, I did this a bit earlier. You see, I've made his body not actually fully white. There's a little bit of a grey there, so this white stands out a bit more. Um, but School Bunny is meant to be white. Um, here we go. I will start with the blue colour first and the head comes in, let's see, goes in around there. See how this line is tilted, so not fully straight on, his head is tilted because his whole body is arched in this way. You feel the gravity sort of pulling him that gets that feeling of that motion uh, of, the, of the rabbit as he's running along. I say rabbit, I mean school bunny, whatever he is. He's bunny-esque. And you've got these side little hair bits, a bit of fluff. Great design here. You can see that you'd recognise that straight away. If you just saw the silhouette, no detail inside, you would recognise who that was thanks to these tufts. And these this double ear shape that you've got at the top here. So I'm going to draw these individually. And then they'll link up when we do the ink. And so you've got that line across here. That's probably going, that's probably just intersecting the bottom of the eye. Uh, I think that line is probably where the bottom of this plaster type shape is in between his eyes. I don't know what he did to get that plaster. Maybe it's just runs a lot, bangs his head a lot. When we do these eyes, we're gonna leave, make sure we leave a little bit of space when we ink them. So I've sketched that in there. And the mouth is so expressive, I love it. It's just this big triangle, it looks so happy. When you're drawing a happy face, the funny thing is that actually that top line, it's downward. You'd think for a happy face that that top line would be arched with the points either side arched upward like that. but when you draw this triangle, it looks happy because the key thing is that bottom line that really stands out. His jaws open wide, his mouth's open wide. And he looks really super happy, but that top one is arched down. And I've had a little bit more detail there already than I probably should have done. Now this is quite small. Look at that. It's a relatively small circle compared to the size of the head. He, he really is all head and feet and ears, this character. The body doesn't take much priority at all. It is just a vessel to link up the limbs. Um, whereas, you you know, with Grookey and Sobble, you could see that the body was a little bit more, you know, it was closer to the head. It made up more of the shape. This is clearly the dominant shapes are really the feet. So you've got this feet in the foreground, this foot in the foreground here. It is actually bigger than the size of his body. And because it's in the foreground partly, it is also bigger than the other foot because it's closer to us. So that is the nature of perspective. These lines here indicate where the legs are going to go. I'm going to move this foot out a little bit more so that we can see a bit more of that leg there. Because you can see that's where that body's going to go. These arms, are, you know, need to be it's almost like a T shape going across there. He's got a little collar here which we can just delineate with a couple of circles. Couple details in there. These lines going across here, these need to be straight. We'll link them up properly later. So you can see here how School Bunny is sketched out roughly. And now I'll go over it with ink. So what's in the foreground here? The first thing, the main thing that you really see is this foot, isn't it? takes up and it's really dominating the illustration really just comes straight at you this foot so we'll draw that first 
little line there just to show where these toes are going to go. And that's where the little plaster. Now this line, so you got that. Although that's, you can see it's 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 kind of a long squished oval uh, with slightly squared edges. Um, here you've got a straight line coming straight from the leg here and over the top here there's just one arch see that one arch comes over the top there like an N and a little line here to show where it connects to the body so this part of the leg is in front of that part of the leg so you think of it in, in two parts it's coming towards you um, Next, we are going to draw this leg. You see how the leg here is in front of the foot, giving us that sense of depth. So we draw the leg before we draw the foot, and we make sure we leave a gap there. And then you have the toes here. One thing I missed when I did the blue sketch was there's, there's a circle here behind him, which is his tail. We only see a tiny bit of it. We'll just put a little arc in there. Hey, the, I love drawing these arms. They're just squidgy oblongs. A couple of lines for the fingery type things there, those paws I guess, this collar, now I've drew them as circles but actually they're slightly, they come to a point, you see it becomes somewhat like a triangular point there, sort of tucked in over his shoulders there, and I've drawn this lots of times, there you go, so that line there is just in front of these hairlines here. So isn't there isn't I left a gap here, but I think it's okay for this line to stay solid because it feels like it's just in front of these fluffy ear things. These ones come in first, then we'll draw that line and then that one completing the circle. But we don't join up here because we need to put in the ears. The ears are going to come in like this. Just drawing the outside, not coming all the way down here. Because these are kind of linked up. And the lines here show where the difference in colour is. Now let's get back to that. Let's get to the eyes. Uh, those are perfect, kind of quite perfect circles. An arc at the bottom there, and a little circle at the top. And we can make the rest dark, leaving space for the white to show through within the eye there. So these are the reflections of the light in the shiny surface of the eye of this Pokemon. Between the eyes, you've got, let's draw that bottom line. And then we've got the plaster that goes between the eyes. And let's get that arc for the mouth. Wonderful big triangular mouth, he's really happy, that big triangular tooth. And I think that's everything. So that's our score bunny sketch. Okay, so what should we do, what should we do here with score bunny? We'll have another pose of them. Let's say slightly from the side, score bunny clearly loves running. So let's do a pose of them running. So got the head sort of large circle shape they're going to be looking that way so that's the front that's where the nose is going to be head tilted up slightly and we've got this shape for the body here 
So I'm just going to sketch in some rough lines to show where we're going to put the legs and make sure it looks like he's really running fast. This is where one foot's going to go. The other one with the toes pointing backwards here. So you get that arc. So you can see these long sweeping shapes that I've got here. A cool trick someone showed me once is you see, you get that feeling that someone's running. These are like two brackets, one pointing up, curved up, one pointing down, and these curves inwards towards each other. So we can put a triangle in here just to give us a sense of where his face is looking. Let's not forget he's got a tail back here. This is the little body. It should be relatively small compared to the head. So I'll make the head a little bit bigger. This arm is going backwards like that. This arm going forward like that. So sort of long. Or combine, combining those sort of oblong and spherical shapes. Try and make it as simple for us as possible. This leg is in the background here. Probably see a little bit of the underside of the foot here. You've got that plaster there. And then this one is in a little bit in the foreground. So it's going to go over the top of this line. And then these toes are pointed back like that. So this is tricky because you're sort of really thinking about um, what's closest to you, what's furthest away, what angle is it at. So you can see all of these little lines here, like that curve there and this curve there, they give you a sense of the volume and the shape and what direction these limbs are pointing in. I'm going to draw the eyes here. Make that one a more squished oval because as the circle of his head curves round, we don't see quite as much of this eye. It becomes a little bit more squished. This is the plaster. It tapers slightly this end because, again, it's moving away from us. We're not going to see these ears, whatever they are, these tufts of fur. So we are going to see these ones, so we'll put these in. In fact, let's make them. He, school bunny is running, so we can give a little bit more. We can maybe stretch them out a little bit more. I imagine the ears are sort of flying. They're getting impacted by the wind. And they are pinging backwards a little bit. And let's make Skull Bunny, give him that big triangular mouth again, clearly enjoying their run. Okay, so now we're going to go over that Again with ink. Uh, first we're going to, let's do this, this body shape is important. First we're going to do this arm. So what's, is it's in front of all of this. I'm going to try and link all of these limbs up now with this body shape. But leaving a little bit of space for that leg that comes in in front of it. I feel like that leg might be a little bit long, so I'm going to bring this foot in a tiny bit. See the toes there. And here this line can stay solid all the way around. Draw that leg in behind this foot. I 
So I drew that leg before I drew the foot because we want to make sure that it all links up. But you can do it however feels most comfortable to you. Just that little collar there. Little tufts of fur there. And the ears flying backwards. Triangular nose, big triangular grin. Suggesting to shade in these circles. Being very careful to leave that white space. And there we have School Bunny running.